Hey guys, um, as a historical interpreter for the Sam Houston Museum, I'm often asked some of my what some of my favorite stories about um, Sam and Margaret Houston are. Um, there's lots. Uh, Sam had a big personality, had a, an, an amazing life, and did some amazing things, and so did his wife and his and his children and his family. Um, everything from Sam and Margaret's love letters to um, Andrew Jackson Houston locking the senators in chambers and while Sam was governor in Austin. Um, but one of the things that really speaks to me now, and it spoke to me back when I first discovered the letter, um, was a letter from February 5th of 1856. Um, the letter and the contents and what Margaret talks about in the letter actually made them human for me. Um, especially being in the times we're in right now with everybody at home, having to be quarantined or shelter in place, and you're trying to homeschool your kids, and you're trying to work, and you're trying to do all these things. Uh, Margaret had to do some of the same things. So um, the part of the letter that really speaks to me from February 5th of 1856, uh, Margaret says, My dear love, Tuesday's come again, a cold, raw day, so cold that the children cannot go out to play. And I'm shivering over the fire in the midst of play blocks, doll clothes, etc. So you can see what chance I have to write. But I must write and leave you to make all the necessary allowances. Um, I can re totally relate to that. I related to it when I found it several, several years ago when I was a fresh new interpreter. Um, to now, being a parent and homeschooling and working from home and trying to manage all the things and a lot of the things that Margaret had to... Um, managed then and it really you know again spoke to me now like it did then um, and really is very relevant and again drove it home that the fact that um, Margaret was a human she was a person and not just some not just Sam Houston's wife and she wasn't just her and Sam weren't just some historical figures or some legendary figures they were actually real people so that's one of my favorite stories